Welcome to Hinesville and Dixon Farm. We're here with two of our Achievement Award finalists, James and Ashton Dixon. And Achievement Award finalist is a pretty good thing to say, pretty good thing to hear, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Very proud of him and all his hard work. Well, you all have worked hard because, let me tell you something, you've only been in this particular location, which makes their story very unusual for a short period of time. Yep. Yes, um, only two uh, months. Two or, two or so months. Two months. Was solid. We, I, Ashton started her job in the end of January, February, and I was back and forth until March for about two months. Well, chicken houses is what they have here on Dixon Farm, but your history with chicken houses didn't start just a little while ago. It started a while back in another location in Magnolia. Yeah, I bought my first farm in 2013 in Magnolia. It was a five-house farm and had it for eight, eight years before we signed the contract on this one and moved here. But before that, I uh, grew up around it. My grandparents, they've been in the chicken business for probably 50 years. They're in their early 80s and they still have chicken houses now. Give me an idea of the, the scope of the operation. Uh, we have six 46 by 520 foot houses. Each house fits uh, 28,100 birds. We'll raise them 51 days. You want them to weigh seven and a half pounds and then they'll come bring them to the processing plant and process them for meat. We'll do that five times a year and uh, we'll be out about 18 to 21 days between each flock. So we raise five flocks a year. His work ethic really amazes you, doesn't it? I can tell. It does. I'm super proud of him and um, my dad actually used to say, well, you're never going to find somebody with the same work ethic that you have. It's just it's just not going to happen. And so I'm really blessed that I did. So <coughs> Sometimes he works through the night, honestly. <laughs> that makes to, me sound crazy, but I have pulled all night. Or I something. try to keep a, you know, because if I don't know, then I wake up and I'm like, is he hurt? You know, where is he? Especially when we were going through all the closing and stuff. At 8 to 5, my phone was ringing, insurance guy, whatever. And then it'd be five o'clock, I didn't get nothing done. I'm like, if I go to sleep, I just wake up stressed out. I'm like, I'm just gonna stay up. And I, I didn't do that. The only time I stayed up back home was when I caught out when you have to stay up. But when we moved here, there was just so much to do, but it paid off I and mean, we got uh, number one, the first flock. Ashton, um, starting to feel like home here? It really is, um, and it's cliche or corny to say, but really, um, Wherever James is and wherever our dogs are and our future children, that's home. Um, we definitely love Arkansas and don't foresee <coughs> leaving. Um, but it was different to pick up roots and leave everything that we've ever known. And I don't think either one of us would have done that on our own, uh, go so far from home and take such a big leap of faith. Um, but that's kind of how we complement each other and we're kind of jumped in both feet, you know, together and whatever life brings. We've got each other's back, so 